Hi, this is Pastor Bob, and welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. I've had a difficult time doing this podcast today. First of all, the geese wouldn't leave me alone and making too much noise. Then I almost finished, and the UPS guy drove up and blocked the camera. And then I started talking about all those divorces <laughs> that are ending up in marriage. I just keep getting, I keep cracking myself up and start laughing. So hopefully this time I'll get it right. I have these days. So I want to talk about marriage that ends in divorce. And I had a great question from someone on Facebook that asked about that. You know, what about marriage that ends in divorce and then remarriage? You know, are you in sin then because you divorced the person you were married to and God hates divorce. He said that he was uh, fell out of love with the person that he was married to, and uh, they both did, and now he's remarried and now a Christian, and is he committing sin because of it? And, you know, folks, there are so many questions like these that are just so difficult, aren't they? Because the letter of the law, the legalism of it all, you could say, well, I can see that point. Honestly, I'm so glad Jesus died for sin because we don't do things very well sometimes. We don't get it, and we keep falling into these traps. The great thing I want to talk about is this, folks. First of all, um, it's because we have the Holy Spirit in our lives that marriage becomes even more possible. It's still difficult at best for everybody. But you see, when you use God's love, agape love, some things begin to happen in your heart that make it very possible. And it's something that you nurture, something you grow in, something that you're conscious of, and something that you work towards in marriage. And ideally, no marriage should end in falling out of love, because if you nurture it, you should be fine. But there's always a reason why people fall in and out of love, and most of it has to do with us and our inadequacies. We love to blame the other person, but it takes two people to get a divorce. And that is the problem. But, you know, the bottom line is this. What a wonderful thing, opportunity that we have to have the Holy Spirit in our lives. To have the Holy Spirit right there when we need Him the most. And especially in this area of love, because we don't do it very well on our own. And if we would have, folks, if we had that kind of ability to love unconditionally, and if we had the ability to be perfect, Jesus, again, wouldn't have died on the cross. But the Bible says, No greater man hath any, no greater love hath any man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends, like Jesus did. And he showed us the best kind of love, the kind of love that says, I love you because, or I love you in spite of. The kind of love that says, I would die for you. And that's our example. And I don't think we ever get that far in relationships, and we ought to. Um, And that kind of nurturing is important when you're married. Now, the best time to think about this is before you get married. First of all, are you marrying somebody that you can spend the rest of your life with? Secondly, are you willing to nurture it so that you can be married for the rest of your life? And thirdly, are you the kind of person that gives up Are you the kind of person that is determined to stick with it even when you feel like giving up? You know, God's love is always greater. His love is always available. And folks, I think we can do it. And I don't think there should be any divorces in Christian marriages especially because I think God's love is available to get through. I know some of you are going to disagree. Some of you that have been married and divorced are going to disagree. And that's fine, you can Uh, But that's why I'm not married, honestly, because I believe in marriage. I believe in the sanctity of marriage, and I believe in the commitment of marriage. And my passions have always been so great for other things, Um, for, you know, music. And I've helped to pioneer several different music styles. Um, There's a lot of things that I've really been very passionate about that I realized that I couldn't devote the kind of time that it would take to be married because I was too passionate about some other things. And that's me. But it may not be you. And uh, when you fall in love, folks, you fall in love with your first ministry, 
your spouse is your first ministry and with that you give your spouse everything you can your commitment your unconditional love your full attention all of those things are important and if you nurture correctly you can be married for a very long time I've got a great example my parents have been married almost 64 years great example of what it means to love each other for a long time they're the greatest team and uh, and I appreciate watching them do that and how well they work together and I realize it's taken them a lifetime to learn from each other and learn about each other and to get to this point and looking around me I see so many people falling in and out of quote-unquote love that I'm really glad I have that example because I know it's possible and I know you can do it as well food for thought God bless you. Have a great day.